Hi guys, thanks for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. Today we're going to show you an easy way to do a short top knot. Now this is Louie, he's pretty short and we want to go ahead and take off all this hair so you don't have to scissor it. We're not going to get away with not scissoring at all on the top knot, but what we're going to do is save some time by using an E on my 30 blade on my clipper and we're going to go ahead and remove a lot of the excess coat. We're going to start from the back. Now normally a lot of other breeds, we go ahead and um, start the haircut at the occiput, but for poodles, we like to leave a little bit more, a little lower than the occiput to give us more of a canvas so that we can go ahead and blend better um, into the body a little later. So what I'm doing here is going from the back to the front in rows and very important, I'm going to show you when we go to the front, is we want to just skim off of the top part because we do need to scissor a little bit later and we still want to go ahead and do some poodle expression that will come from scissoring. But with this clipper, we're going to go ahead and just again remove that excess coat. Okay, now we're going to start a little bit of scissoring here. In the back, we want to go ahead, remember I said we're going to have a canvas to go ahead and blend a little better. We want to blend there and go back to the front and then start working on the front expression. Um, with poodles, we want everything to look intelligent and thoughtful. So let's go ahead, clean it up. He's a pet, so we're gonna obviously keep it nice and short. We lift up the ear, and this is where we set the side. So I'm gonna go ahead, we shaved up all the way to the corner of the eye, right to the middle of the ear, middle of the inside of the ear, and now we're gonna go ahead and shorten that to give it that beautiful poodle dome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut in front of the eyes. Poodles have a tendency to get these curly hairs because uh, they have curly hair that sticks into their eyes. So we wanna go ahead, make sure that we safely take that out from sticking into their eye. Going to the other side and now lifting up that ear and we're gonna do that side piece, right? This is the blend that happens from our shaved or short poodle face right, that goes into that top knot, that transition. So we want that to be a nice line, but we want it to be blended as well. And you can use your thinners for this in addition to your scissors. And if I change my blender um, to be facing that other way, I can blend. Okay, now a little more um, stuff around the eyes. Again, those curly hairs get into the eyes and really bother them. So we wanna make sure we're very thorough, but what I do is I lift up those hairs and then cut them away from the eyes brushing forward, what we're gonna do is floof up. Lots of floofing up happening in poodle rounded top knots. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my eight and a half inch curved scissors and start going ahead and shaping. Um, now what I like to do is start with the side that is least dominant to me, so the side that's harder, and then finish up with the side that's a little easier for me. So I always start with my left side and then finish with my right side if I'm looking at the dog. Floofing up told you lots of floofing for poodle top knots um, and then we're gonna go ahead and then what we're gonna do is scissor in rows now when you're scissoring poodle hair it's important to go ahead and only move one blade of your scissors so that is your thumb blade if you notice how I'm scissoring in those rows that's what I'm doing only moving one blade of that now going to the front what we want to see is what the top knot looks like from an aerial perspective so from the top we want it to be nice and balanced and rounded still floofing I told you guys all right starting to look a little more in form I shake the ears out go ahead shake the head do some final snips again those eyes very important that they stay bright and open um, but yet the um, poodle top knot still maintains that intelligent and thoughtful expression even if it's short okay and then we're gonna just finalize that back end. it needs to flow from the top of the head into the neck and then into the short body Guys, thanks so much for watching, for subscribing and liking this video. We'll see you next time.